Welcome to The Update, Soul Therapy's weekly news on Korean hip-hop and r and I'm your host, Liv. Rapper Noel is involved in yet more drama as he's now engaged in a diss battle with Shakrama. In fairness, Shakrama did start it, calling Noel untalented and a bad example for his young fan base. Noel responded quickly, calling him irrelevant, but his track wasn't as strong. Noel has been active on Instagram lately after going quiet after his DUI incident. He posted a story of him at YG Entertainment and it's been rumoured that he's working on an album for release later this month. So we'll see if this diss battle is good publicity for new music. Vini Poole, who was eliminated from High School Rapper 4, posted about the most recent stages on the show by Kim Dae-yeon and Park Hyun Jin, saying hip-hop is fucked on his Instagram story. He shared some messages with him and other people discussing the cutie hip-hop performances and what is real hip-hop, which ironically they couldn't answer. On the other end, Palo Alto got candid on what hip-hop is as he was replying to questions on his IG story saying, no matter what other people say, just do you. That's hip-hop. In other High School Rapper 4 news, contestant Kim Jae Ha was trending this this week because he asked fans not to treat him like an idol and only to love his music. And his fellow members of Liverside crew weighed in to tell people not to harass him for a statement that was considered rude and just expressed that they are disappointed in him, but not to go overboard as he's going through a hard time right now. Mummy Sun took to Instagram to call out entertainment companies that he feels are out there with all ignorance for business ethics and stealing young artists that nobody knows of. He didn't give any details as to which companies he was referring to, but said that once he can prove his suspicions, he's willing to put his career on the line to expose them. Con Key Beck, a rookie from Be Free's label, weighed in, reposting Mummy Sun's post saying how ironic it is to hear this from someone who signed slave contracts with his artists. People also said that it's ironic for Con Key Beck to say that since his label boss Be Free did the same thing with Sway D, which Sway D did deny as he keeps a good memory of that time. Be Free got involved, making a post about companies overusing their power, locking artists into unreasonable contracts and not giving the artists their fair share. It seems like there's beef between Yu Zion and futuristic Swaver and Korean American rapper Young Weej. It looks like Young Weej stole things from them, including Yu Zion's grandmother's necklace to sell because he was in debt. Nothing's been officially confirmed, but there are speculations that Young Weej was involved in other criminal activities before he came to Korea. On a lighter note, this week on IG Live, Geary Boy accidentally revealed Olin Elm's number while showing his phone and had to beg fans not to call him. But of course they did, and Olin Elm posted screenshots on his story of unknown numbers calling him. This has been the update. Don't forget to like, share, and comment telling us what you thought about this week's news. I'll see you next week.